What's up you guys? And welcome back. Welcome back to another video. In today's video uh, I am taking a suggestion, my second suggestion of the day from a man Harrison Jolly. He's a fellow New Zealander and uh, he sent me a NFL fan starter pack for the Bengals and for the Seahawks earlier this year and I want to say thank you so much. These videos are a thank you to you. You had some suggestions, you're a Giants fan and so am I. So with that being said, in the previous video I looked at Eli Manning, two-time Super Bowl champion, two-time two Super Bowl MVP, recently retired, um, absolute legend. I know a little bit more about him, probably not as much as I could, but seeing as there's thousands and thousands of players in the NFL, I'm probably never going to. So, we've got to cut it there and move on to the next one. The next one is actually Eli Manning's replacement, uh, Daniel Jones. So I believe Manning must have played four games this past season, Jones must have come in in week number three or four to replace him, play the remainder of the season, and then Manning has come in for maybe one game at the end of the season, just so he can appreciate that final time on, on you know, home soil. Um, as a player, I believe he played, he came off, Daniel Jones replaced him, and then after that game, he went into the locker room and had an amazing speech. But we're not talking about Eli Manning, we're talking about Daniel Jones, so let's do that. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me. Oh, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got a fair few videos here. I've, I've put Daniel Jones into YouTube. We've got Daniel Jones' full rookie season highlights. That's going to be good. Jackson Kruger Sports, he's... Uh, a guy who does some breakdown on films, he's got one, only three days old. We've got another highlight package, we've got Stephen A talking about Daniel Jones, we've got all Daniel Jones' fumbles. He had 18 fumbles in the season, are you kidding me? Um, is that bad guys? It seems bad. That seems bad. Anyways, Daniel Jones, two days ago, we've got a 14 second clip, what are you saying mate? This is Daniel Jones from the New York Giants. Just want to say thank you to our Quest family for your relentless efforts through this tough time. We really appreciate all that you do. Go Giants. Cheers, Dan. Um, okay. I know the video we're going to watch. It could be his college highlights, but we're not going to go there. We're going to go Daniel Jones full rookie season highlights, NFL. Now guys, this video was created and published by the NFL channel. We all know how much they love blocking my videos. So with that being said, all we can do really is, is sit here, cross our fingers, and uh, and pray. Um, also, what I will say is that one like equals one prayer. So if you are watching this right now, I have managed to, to beat the block from the NFL. And, uh, well, you should just hit the like button anyway. Okay, let's go. What have we got here? Week 3, Daniel Jones, first quarter, on the 45. Where are they going? So that was his first throw. The first, first, uh... I've seen this. I've seen this. He gets there. Go, Jones! Actually, there's a couple of other plays that I've seen where he ran in for touchdowns in crucial moments, in crucial games. Big time player, this guy. Actually, I need to know his height. He looks about 6 foot 5, I'm going to say. 6'5, 100 kilos. 22 years of age. These ages, man, they're never gonna... These, these guys' ages, seriously. The fact that someone born in the 2000s is 18 years old right now is just mind-blowing. Let's go, Danny. First and 10, 25-yard line off the feet to Goldman. Jones pass is caught by Evan Ingram. Oh, if he scores this. Evan Ingram will take this all the way. What a great read. By Daniel nice. Jones, more importantly, what a great job by Evan Ingram. Two point conversion attempt. Jones throws and finds his man, Sterling Shepard. 
Look at some nice cross routes going, eh? Talking about the talent around Eli, you weren't referring to the running back, were you? <laughs> no, I was not. Now Jones escapes pressure, fires downfield, and it's caught! Hold it, go! Man, this kid is awesome. See, there's two moments from this video so far that I've really enjoyed and I've taken a notice of. And I'm going to tell you those right now, okay? But it's going to mean that I'm going to have to go backwards. So let's go. The first moment was when Ingram was running at full flight. Beats, beats this man, okay? I'm instantly looking at 28, okay? This defender really should be taking Ingram. 94 is not fast enough, no way, okay? So he's got 40 yards. And then I saw this defender, okay, get tied up with this blocker. So this blocker did his job absolutely perfectly, but he still let him go. Okay, so at this point, Ingram is at full pace. This defender, he's broken away from his blocker, okay, and he's going to get up to full pace too. There's probably going to be about a 20-yard stretch where they're both at full pace. And that is the moment that I loved. Right now, okay? And I just want to... I just want to, and I just want to, I just want to show you guys this because, you know, when two guys are at full pace, when you've got an attacker and a defender, the defender is chasing the attacker. What a sight to behold. What a sight it is. It's absolutely awesome because usually the defender is going to mow down that attacker. He's going to mow him down because the attacker is most likely going to be fatigued from beating a few tackles. He's holding the ball, which means he's, you know, going to be running a slight bit slower than if he's not. And, uh, you know, I was actually expecting that defender to mow this guy down, but he just didn't because the blocker did his job so, so well. He held him up. He didn't hold him for, for good, but he held him up just long enough to let Ingram go past. And that was a point that I really liked. Now, the next one is right I was not. now. Okay, so he's kept the ball. He's just turned around, but he's got this he's got this six foot seven fucking monster number ninety-four coming straight at him. Okay, he knows he's coming and he has to stay calm. So this is the next moment that I saw, okay? He's got this guy coming. Yes, he's relying on his uh, his lineman, but look, regardless of whether his lineman's doing his job or not, he's still got this guy coming from like a kamikaze pilot. And he steps up, stays calm, and throws the pass. I like that. Man, this kid is awesome. Third and goal from the seven. Daniel Jones on third down, lobs one up. There is a flag. Woo! And it is a catch by Sterling Shepard for a Giants touchdown. It looks like you're going to get a legal hands in the face here. So, uh, I wanted to replay that. Jones on second down, fires, and it's caught. You're looking at why. On second down, Jones to a wide open start. Score that! Inside the 20, still going, finally brought down at the 12 yard line. Shot Shepard. On fourth and five, Jones steps up. Ah, uh, that's the one that I saw. Yes, and that was to win too. Six points down. And he scores that. How many, how many minutes to go? Fourth quarter, a minute 18 to go. Fourth and five. Fourth, fourth down. Six points down. And Daniel Jones runs it in. I saw that play and I thought, wow. Takes off. He's in. Incredible. He's and it's all in this one game. We've only, we've only been watching one game so far. It's, it feels like we're watching half a season. That's the danger of a running quarterback. Second down and seven under a minute to go. And oh, mate. There is not much space to move in there. Oh, he's going again. Go, Daniel Jones. He's confident with the ball in hand, which I like. Oh! You can't get a better pass than that. Cannot get a better pass than that. That's incredible. 50 yard bomb. 55, 60. 
he likes this. He likes this Sterling Shepherd guy, doesn't he? Pressure on Jones. Steps up and throws. Slayton and Shepard and Barkley at running back. Oh, keep that go, son! Beautiful. Way to stay on your feet. 64 yards from the rookie Daniel Jones. That run. Daniel Jones. Jones protected, throws, has Ellison. And a big tight end to midfield. Daniel Jones and Larry Fitzgerald have more receptions than Golden Tate. Jones over the top and is caught. <laughs> Solid tape, man. That guy could have got absolutely smashed. We've got here week seven. Fourth and six. That's just disrespectful. Imagine, wait, once again, I'm looking at this right. Imagine what Daniel Jones is feeling or thinking. Seeing this lineman come steamrolling for his head. Watch this. So far. Look at that. Imagine that. He's seeing this unfold right in front of him. He's seeing his own player just get demolished. And yet, he stays calm. Stays in the pocket. And fires. Jones complete for another first down. It's five pass attempts. Or is it because they're playing the Lions? I'm not sure. Shotgun, empty backfield on first down. Jones throws. Darius Slayton. Nice adjustment. Makes the catch. I mean, the throws are nice. The throws are good. Yes. But it's the catches. It's the catches that are amazing. I mean, Daniel Jones' full rookie season highlights. That's the thing about being a quarterback, you know. It's, it's, you can't just rely on yourself. You've got to rely on the whole team. I mean, you're the, you're the captain of the offense. But, you know, if you're not rallying your troops the way that they need to be, and if your troops don't have that athletic ability to go and make catches, that's it. That's the difference, isn't it? You either make the pass or you make the catch. And that's the ability of these receivers is the ball might not go to the perfect place but because of their ability they can either shake the defender off one particular way so they can have an open lane to try and you know go and grab that ball without a defender in front of them or they can just literally try and back their athletic ability and just leap or jump or do whatever they have to do with with you know no, basically no regard for your body no regard for the opposition you just want to get that ball and hold it. Let's get back into it. Touchdown! 22 yards from Jones to throw a rookie. Jones is... Slayton, his second score of the season. Jones is, uh, is good, man. Third down and seven. As Jones fires... Oh, not again. Touchdown, his second day. Stater, of course. Miles Incredible. Sanders, Saquon Barkley. Go Barkley, yes! Go Barkley! Sound your feet! That was my favourite one so far. Second and ten, Wayne Coleman in the backfield. Jones with time. Now moving to his right. He throws and a nice pass made by Golden Tate. Look at Barkley try and push his his uh, his lineman back. Watch this. Barkley single back formation. Comes through this 91. Look at this guy. Look at him. Fuck. He's pushing back two guys, including Barkley and a lineman. But once again, Jones stays cool, stays calm, stays collected, and fires. Oh, what a catch. Has he got the pace? And that is the athleticism, you know, and pressure and benefits in their will. Red clock running down on third and 14. Jones, what an effort that time by Golden Tate. Bro, some of these catches are unbelievable. 
86, 87 and 15 are having a field day. Go Jones, what kind of pace you got? Oh, you should have given him, fuck, you should have given him the biggest dead leg ever, okay. I'll tell you exactly how Daniel Jones should have got past this defender. Don't, don't judge me for this, but this is exactly how I would have done it. Got an open lane. There he goes, okay. He's clearly got, well, he's got this defender who's in line with him. He's got this defender, he's probably going to catch him. He's got this defender who is the main target that he has to get past, okay. But Daniel Jones has got a bit of pace. So here we go. Five yards out. He's actually beating these two guys along the ground. So really, this is, this is the only defender he has to worry about, okay. So at this point, at this exact point, coming off his left leg, I would have come up and given him a dead leg or a goose step. Okay, so that just puts him off a tiny bit. Okay, so this defender is coming across at full tip. He's gonna he's gonna stutter. He's gonna stutter a little bit. And after that dead leg, you will hit him with a bang off the right. So it's a dead leg right here. He stutters. He stutters a tiny bit. Okay, this right foot comes down. This left foot comes down. And then that right that right foot that's just come down there, I would have stepped on the inside, beaten this man, and gone in for the touchdown. There's a fight on the other side. Go Barkley. Go Barkley. Go Barkley. Go Barkley. Go Barkley. My man. He's going, he's going, going. Let it go. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Let's see how Slayton gets open here. Jones. Oh my God, man. There was nothing t terribly urgent about that. It was just right place, right time. Slayton. Jags. No, oh, Jets. Darius Slayton is in for another touchdown. Now, how did he beat his defender so convincingly? Let's have a look at him. Let's have a look at him down here. Is this him or is this him? Oh, look at that. Ba -ba bang off his left foot and then bang off his right. Simple but effective. That is literally bang, 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 okay, on the line. His release is left, right, left, and then he takes a right foot step, right, left, and then bangs his right foot in. That six step move is what they would have, you know, practiced at training over and over and over again. They not only have that six step move, they'll probably have about 10 or 20 different releases in their head, already trained and ready to, 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 to pull out in the game. And that's awesome. On fourth down, the Giants convert 39 yards from Daniel Jones to Darius Slayton. Populating gaps. Now there's a football term. Absolutely, Kenny. Jones, near side. Making everybody remember why he's on this football team. Go, son. Go! Shot, bro. What's his name? Golden Tate. His name's not Golden Tate. Oh my god, his first name's Golden. 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 I fucking like that name, man. I like that. Third down and three. Jones throws, it's Tate. For Giants touchdown. His second of the quarter. How tall is this guy? 5'10". Okay, so he, he looks, you know, 
significantly smaller than the rest of the guys in the field, but he's still 5'10". The Giants have their first lead of the game. What I will say is that, what I will say guys, is Daniel Jones is the man. He's got, he's cool, calm and collected in that pocket. He fires the passes, but these wide receivers have gone up and caught them. I can sling it. Giants go for two. Jones look How fucking impossible would it be to mark that? Watch this. One wide out to the left, we've got one running back, we've got two wide outs on the right, and one tight end. Okay. <laughs> Watch this. I can sling it. Okay. One wide receiver goes to the left. The tight end comes around the back. This wide receiver goes up. This wide receiver comes across to the right. This running back's gonna go out to the left. Go Jones! Fourth and eighteen. Throw to the back of the Oh amazing. I'm just hoping that Jones and uh Barkley can develop a championship level combination. And look at this fucking field. Look like bird tracks. But they're footprints. God, that's got to be cold. <laughs> Fuck. Is that the same game? No. Oh my god, that is the same game. Look at what's happened to the field. <laughs> What a catch! Are they going to come back and win? 31-13. Fourth quarter, three and a half minutes to go. Let's have a look. No, they're not. Sterling Shepard, Golden Tate the third, and Darius Slayton. Darius Slayton? Yeah, Barkley. Darius Slayton, yes. Go Tate. Pin your ears back, mate. Great run. Great run. Great backing himself. What a throw. No. Are they going to win? In the air, down the middle of the field, and there's Shepard to the 40 yard line. They're coming after Jones, and a touchdown! Look at Let me see how that happened. Where is he? Lining up on the left there, the tight end. Bang! Coming after Jones, Just and like that. A
Alex Smith's second touchdown of the game. And Daniel Jones, along with Barkley, career days today. Barkley, 190 rushing yards. And Jones, a five-touchdown afternoon. Five of them. Jones gets rid of it, and it is Smith, the rookie tight end. First down throw, again down the middle. And oh, Jones shit. Protection begins to collapse. Jones to the back of the end zone. Golden Tate! <laughs> the flag is down. Now, the reason I love that name, Golden Tate, so much is every single time I, I hear it, I think of my daughter, because her name's Tate, although it's spelled T-A-Y-T-E, not T-A-T-E. Golden Tate the third. Golden... Golden... Sounds like it should be a fucking name of an ice cream or something. Golden Tate. Golden Tate. It literally sounds like a brand name for something. Golden Tate. Like... Soap. And there we have it guys, that was pretty in-depth, but that's what you'd expect from the NFL channel. And that was just before the Super Bowl, published on December the 30th, 2019. Wow, okay. Daniel Jones, nicknamed Danny Dimes, because he throws it on a dime. But like I mentioned, not only does he do that, but his receivers went out and caught the ball, that's for fucking sure. Charlotte Latin School in Charlotte, North Carolina. During his high school career, he had nearly 7,000 passing yards and 98 touchdowns. Despite these numbers, he was barely recruited coming out of high school and was not ranked by Rivals.com. He originally committed to Princeton University, but eventually committed to Duke University to play college football. Okay, so he redshirted his first year, and then in 16, he became the starting quarterback. Um, after quarterback Thomas Sirk suffered a season-ending injury. He started all 12 games, completing 62.8% of his passes for 2,836 yards. In 2017, his junior year, he completed 55.7% of passes for 2,500 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. He was named MVP of the 2017 Quick Lane Bowl. 2018, senior year. He was named the MVP in the 2018 Independent Bowl, where he went 30 of 41 passes, which is about 74%, uh, 423 passing yards, 5 touchdowns. He later played in the 2019 Senior Bowl for the North team and was also the MVP of that game, going 8 of 11 with 115 passing yards and 1 touchdown. So, finishing his 3-year career at Duke, he had a total of 36 games. 8,201 passing yards, 52 passing touchdowns. He also had 406 rushing attempts himself at an average of 3.3 yards per carry and 17 rushing touchdowns. And he went 6th overall in the 2019 NFL Draft to the New York Giants. And what we just saw was his highlights from that season. 13 games played, 12 games started, 3,000 yards passing with uh, 24 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, 38 sacks. He had 45 rushing attempts at an average of 6.2 yards per attempt and two touchdowns. We saw those. Especially the one going through the middle, that was incredible. 18 fumbles, 11 of those were not recovered. Well, all right then. Guys, that's two videos for the day. I've been going for about an hour. I am going to take a break. I feel like tomorrow we're going to come back with Victor Cruz and Darius Slayton. So if you are looking forward to those, please stay tuned. Uh, please hit that like button. You know what I mean? Before you even watch the video, guys, hit the fucking like button. I want to get a community of people that literally hit the like button before they start watching the video. Because that would help me so much. So, so much. If I get two, 3,000 views on a video and I get 100 likes... Now, can we get that to 300? Can we go for a 10% like to view ratio on this channel? 10% and I'll be your best friend forever. Anyways, guys, you don't need to do any of that shit. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. And that's all I've got to say. So have a fantastic day, guys. That was Daniel Jones. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.